Let's have a look at iMind Maps 3D View. I'll start by creating a new map. The first thing I'd like to show you are the 3D Central Ideas. You can find these in the Central Idea Image Chooser by selecting the 3D Enhanced filter. These Central Ideas will appear fully 3D when displayed in 3D View. I'll show you that now. I'll switch to 3D View by clicking the 3D View icon up here. Now before I continue, I'll explain how to navigate around. You can pan around by clicking and dragging on any empty space. You can zoom in and out by using your mouse wheel, or by using the zoom slider down here. You can click and drag on this control to change the camera angle. The 3D Auto Zoom can be turned on and off by clicking the 3D Auto Zoom button next to the zoom slider. When turned on, the camera will automatically zoom in and out depending on the size of the selected object. If you change the zoom level manually, 3D Auto Zoom will be automatically turned off so that the zoom level stays locked at your desired value. You can turn 3D Auto Zoom on again by clicking the 3D Auto Zoom button. If you ever get lost, you can use the Fit Map function to find your map again. Now let's have a look at some more 3D central ideas. Like in 2D mind map view, you can change your central idea by right clicking it and selecting edit central idea. Let's check out the 3D environments. From the settings menu here, you can choose between various different environments, such as the sky and ocean environment. Or the grid room environment. In addition to these 3D only features, most of the tools you're familiar with from the 2D mind map view are available in 3D view. For example, you can draw branches, You can draw box branches. You can draw relationship arrows.
you can insert images sketches and you can insert icons.